Good morning. It's so nice to see your bright, smiley faces ready to do some math with me today. We just finished module four. That was really working with numbers to 10. And today we're going to be talking about how to balance an equation, kind of like your empathy tool, kind of like using the balance to compare weights. But this one is going to be using numbers and numerals. Let me show you what we're working with today in our workbook. So I see a balance and I see some circles. Whenever you do an equation, whatever you do on one side of the balance has to equal the other side so that they are equal. If you have numbers that don't equal, then you're going to have an unbalanced balance. And for equations, we always want to keep them the same and make sure they equal the same amount. So let's look at the first box, box A. Let's read the directions and it says draw circles in each empty box to make each balanced picture true. Hmm. So they want us to draw circles to balance out the other side, then complete the sentence to match. An equation could also be called a number sentence. We've already done some equations with our five frames, and this is gonna be exactly the same. Let's see what it looks like. All right, let's count the circles on this side. One, two, three. Let's label that with a three. There's three purple circles and one yellow circle. And I need to balance the same number on the other side of the balance. You could think of the triangle, the fulcrum in the middle as an equal sign. So let's count all the circles together. One, two, three, four. I need to do four circles on this side so that it balances. One, two, three, Four. I'm going to use my writing tool and I'm going to write four. So now the equation says three and one balances four. I can also think about it like three plus one equals four. Both ways are correct. They're just different ways of saying it. Let's look at box B. And I see two blue circles. So I'm going to write, I'm going to label it two. Let's count the pink circles. One, two, three, four. All right. Now I need to figure out, I have two and four in this hand. And in my balance, what will match? What will balance it? Let's count all the circles in total. One, two, three, four five, six. I'm going to use my highlighter tool and I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. I have to go off the side a little bit. Totally okay. So I know that two and four will equal six. So let's read it. Two and four balances six. Remember, there's another way to say that. 2 plus 4 equals 6. So 2 and 4 in this hand will equal 6 in this hand, and my balance is equal. All right, let's look at box C. I'm going to count the first 1, 2. I'm going to write 2 in the box. There are two purple circles. Let's count the gold circles or the yellow circles. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to label it. But remember, now I need to count all the circles on one side so I can balance it with circles on the other side. Let's count them in total. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to write five here and I'm going to do five circles. One, two, three, four, five. So in my mind, I can have a two and a three on this side and a five on this on this side and it will balance. They will be equal. So I can read it two and three balances five or I can read it two plus three 
equals five. Either way are okay. They mean the same thing. Ooh, the last one looks a little bit tricky. So on this side, there's nothing there. Oh, wait, but I see circles on the other side. So let's count those first and label. Let's count how many blue circles. One, two, three. I'm going to write a three in the box. One, two, three pink circles. I'm going to write a three on this side. So it doesn't matter if it's in this side or this side. They still have to balance each other and be equal. So let's count all the circles together. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know that if I put six circles on this side, it will balance the other side of the equation. Let's use my highlighter tool and do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And remember, I can think about it in opposite ways. This says six balances three and three. Or I can say it's six equals three plus three. I love the idea that you are starting to think about equations and how numbers can equal one another. Great work and great thinking today. If this was a challenge, it's okay. It's okay to be challenged and it's okay to try your best, even if it's a hard one.